wife and volunteer me for to, to do this. That's nice. Thanks, Sue. So. Anyway, so yeah, we do get asked quite a lot of times how we manage to feed everyone on um, you know as cheap a budget as we can. So I th we're just going to share some some ideas of what we like to do and what the kids like to eat. Uh, we'll try and do one a week if we can. So today I'm just going to make some simple some simple fish cakes. Um, they're quite cheap and easy to do. So. Um, yeah, we'll do them. I'll just show you what you'll need. I'll also put up on the screen like the ingredients of what you're going to need as well. Okay, to make our fish cakes, how we do at our house, you're going to need these. So, we've got some frozen sweet corn, potatoes, I've got, this time I've got some uh, tinned pink salmon. We use tuna, we use pilchards, we use just any, any old fish you like. You can use fresh fish, tinned fish frozen fish, whatever fish you like, a couple of eggs and some onion. Okay, so I'll just get on now and show you how we do them. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do, get potatoes, peel them, chop them up in just a small cubes and get them on to boil. Now you don't want them cooked too much so they're all falling apart, just till they're just and so cooked. Turn them off, uh, then drain them, then just put them on, a, on the lowest heat that you can on your hob and just Start to mash them up a bit because you, you want the potatoes quite dry, you don't want them quite wet or anything like that, otherwise when you're cooking them later on they'll all sort of fall apart. So blue pinky style, I've got mine already boiled and done. Okay, so that's some drains and I've just put them on a low heat. It turns on, there we go. And just stir it. So I'm going to use just a wooden spoon just to sort of break them up a bit whilst I'm doing that. If you want them turn to mash, you do want a few lumpy bits in there just to give it a bit of texture. Okay, right, that's that done. Probably can't see, but there's a few lumpy bits in there. Now that ideally, you need that to cool because you're going to be handling it with your hands soon to make the, the fish cakes and you just won't be able to do that with it being this hot. Good old spoonful of butter or marge. And just mix that through. need to leave that to cool for a little while until it's quite cold actually. Okay so that's the potatoes nice and cooled down. Um, now got, it's so simple to make these, it really are. Bit of sweet corn, you can use frozen peas if you're not into sweet corn or whatever vegetables you like I suppose. Then the salmon when I find the tin opener, there it is. Okay so this is the salmon, I'm just going to break this apart uh, I'm taking any bones out, I'm not really into that. Put some people eat them, not my thing. I just don't like the texture, just no. A bit wrong there. Just chuck the whole whole lump in. <clears throat> so yeah, you can use any fish you like. I've used sardines before. Um, they're a lot cheaper than this tin salmon, but this was quite reasonable actually. It was, I think it was £2.49 a tin, which for salmon I thought was quite good because the ones next to it were like £4 odd. So I thought, oh well, I'll give it a go with the salmon. So yeah, get all this in. Right, just leave it in the big chunks. That can go in. <coughs> then all we need to do is a bit of onion. But, uh, just don't tell the kids that there's onion in. I don't know if any of yours are like mine, but they're like mini detectives when it comes to onions. Like they can find onion. And even if you tell them, oh no, they don't worry, there's no onion now, I'm putting in it, don't worry. I've seen them looking through the bin to see if there's any onion peelings in it, just so they can try and catch me out of it. I'm lying to them that there's actually onion in it. So, uh, anyway, so I'll just chop up as fine as I can. I can peel the damn thing. 
if anyone knows of a, a method on how to peel onions when they're like this, please let me know. Okay, so, I'll just chop up the onion as fine as I can. And hopefully that way, I mean, it adds the flavour to the, to the uh, fish cake, which the kids don't seem to appreciate, but you know. Strong, I'm in Nora. Holy moly, they are strong. job is just to mix this together. You might find it's a bit easier to do with your hands. Make sure they're clean though before you get your hands in amongst all your, your fish cake mix. Basically just binding it all together, mixing it all through. Okay, so that's it. That's your fish cake mix. All done. Now all we need to do is make it to the fish cakes themselves. So. Get a bit of flour onto your table or your worktop, whatever you want to do it on, and then just roll them into a bowl and form them into your little fish cake shape. Now, what I'll do, I'll do some um, adult sized ones and some little kiddie sized ones because it's there's nothing worse than, you know, when you're a little kiddie, getting this massive big portion of food on your plate, like a great big fish cake, and expecting them to eat it. It just outfaces them, so if I can make some tiny ones, which I'll show you. They don't have to be all the same size, they're going to cook no matter what. So I'll do some little tiny ones like this, for Hallie and Phoebe. Because they'll look nicer on the plate if I do two or three. Just little tiny ones like that. Give them two, one or two of those each. Uh, so yeah, so I'll do all them now. And then we'll go on to the next step. Okay, so that's all my fish cakes made. Well, there's enough here for us for tonight. Uh, and then I've got a few more in the freezer that I've had too much mix for. So I've made some extra and put them in the freezer. So I got about 27 out of it in all which is more than enough for us. So, all we've got to do now is... That's, that's uh, Hallie in the background that we can all hear. Can I cook an egg? Can I cook an egg? Go on, put one in, in that dish. Can I cook an egg, Dad? Wait, well, it's the last two hands. Two hands. That's it. Yay. Okay, so... Mister, you can do something in a minute. All right. Not yet. Do you want to mix the egg up a little bit? Yeah. Well then, whisk it up with the fork. Like that. Well done. Done. Yeah. All done, right? Okay. So the trick here to stop you getting absolutely caked up in it. One hand for the egg. One hand for the bread crumbs. Okay, so it's in. Drop it in your breadcrumbs. Roll it around. That's that one done. Yeah, of course. Just go wash your hands. So they've all come back from school now, so I've got a little army of helpers. Turned on. Get the frying pan on ready. What? Tell you what, you do the egg and I'll do the breadcrumbs. Nice. So you pick up a little fish cake. Oh, it's making. Fish cake, Josh. Right, you pop it in there. Just drop it in, that's it. Okay. 
Okay. Right, that'll do for now. We'll do Hallie and Phoebe's first. Then how are the biscuits going? We're alright, I'll scare. Okay, so now I'm going to fry them off. So I've just got the pan up, heating up ready. Go back and do this day. That's for your tea. I can't tell what you're saying, she's got a mouthful of tomato. <laughs> okay, right, that should be hot enough now. So basically, put them in. Mmm, what's it, Hallie? You hungry? I'm actually quite hungry. Cool. Nearly ready. Nearly ready. I'm going to go start looking for my swimming pool. That's it, my Lord. That makes it over your head like very nice. Okay, so just leave them to cook for a few minutes on each side. One second. That thing. Oh, frying pan's rolling away. To any normal family, two or three kids, this isn't going to take you so long, but we've got however many at home, it's going to take me ages, so I'll just do these ones, show you what they should look like, and then that's it. So that's it, there we go. So they've had a couple of minutes on each side, turn them once or twice, nice and brown. One. Two. Right, so that's it, we're all done. Um, I think, from my costings, they cost about 30p to make each. You know, if, I've got 27 out of it, basically, so they're about 30 pence each. You could make them cheaper, I suppose, if you put a little bit cheaper fish in, you know, some sardines or something like that. Or you can just make them however you like. You can add things to them, you can add herbs to them, you can put some cheese within the crumbs, just to things like that, just to spruce them up to however you like. Uh, but there you go, that's it. That's our version of uh, a fish cake in the Radford house. Um, let me know how you got on with your own.